As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. So I'm thinking this may be a $50 to $70 item. I mean, if this doesn't scream 1990s to you, then, you know, nothing does. Hey y'all, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We are the day after the yard sales. I want to show you specifically what we bought, how much it cost, and what we think we're going to make on it. So let's take a look. All right, so let's start over here with this item. This was at the first yard sale, if you remember. It is the ATEC Hitting Streak, and we ended up paying, well, we bundled it together. So it was $25 plus a little discount for bundling. Um, so let's just say that it was about 25 bucks. Uh, I think we can probably double our money if we take the plate against sports, probably. I'm not positive of that, um, but I think we can. Um, we can definitely sell it on eBay as well and double our money, um, but I didn't buy it for that purpose. It's a little bit big and bulky to be doing that. I bought it so that we could use it here is probably what we're going to do. We may use it for a year or two and then uh, then take it over to plate again or probably put it on eBay. You know, you can package this up. Um, because the legs come off and make it very, uh, very, very shippable. And you can obviously take these screws off as well and definitely make the box a little bit smaller. All right, now these we were hagging a little bit. And if you remember in the video, he told me we had a hundred of them or he thought maybe there was a hundred. Well, um, I said there wasn't a hundred, but there actually is 49 of them, um, which means that 50 cents a piece would have been roughly, well, I guess it would have been $24.50. And, of course, they wanted me to pay $25. So it's about what I paid. We we ended up paying $60 for everything of that yard sale, and we got quite a bit more than, than this item and this item, um, which, if we were doing their asking price, would be $50. So let's look at some of those other items. All of these books, which they wanted a dollar a piece. Um, for all these Bibles, and most of them, if not all of them, are old time gospel hour Bibles, which we find a lot around here because this is, uh, you know, Jerry Falwell country. At any rate, each one of these has a, a resale value of roughly $15. Um, and if you pay a buck for one of these, 15 bucks with fees and shipping is going to run you about $6. So that's $9 a piece profit. So there's five of them, that's $45. Um, and I can process those, including shipping when they sell pictures and all that, in probably 35 minutes. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good hourly rate there. All right, there were a few other things at that yard sale. Um, that shack attack was probably my favorite. But let's go left to right here. U.S. Mail frequent stops. This is a magnetic sign. You saw it in the video. Um, it is something I've never seen before, actually. It's plastic, um, and it's just unique. You know, it goes on top of a vehicle, obviously, um, like the domino signs or whatever. And this is a magnet, and it was 2 bucks. So I think we can sell this in the antique booth. I'm pretty sure we can sell it on eBay. There's nothing like it on eBay, so I'm pretty sure we could sell it. Um, but the kicker for me, and I just did... A, I didn't even look at it, but I looked at it when I got home is you can take this thing apart. So you can actually get this thing down to roughly this size and it'll keep the shipping down and it's definitely not that heavy. So I don't know, if I put it out there on eBay, I'd probably put it like $100 or best offer just to kind of see what the value is. Could look up worth point and see if anyone's ever sold one in the past. I got some Blake Media from that yard sale as well. Um, that's kind of a throw in. Now, this was something you saw in a later video, and I liked it, and you heard me say I liked it. It gets the corners. Um, I don't know why I liked it, but I did, 
and ended up buying it. it needs a little bit of cleaning but just to show you that something like this will sell this will sell so this i think has probably a 10 to 15 dollar re resale value plus shipping and i want to say i paid a buck for it so um you know it's not making a bunch of money but it is proving the point that uh, a lot of things will will sell pretty quickly probably let my kids run through the sprinkler out there all right um some books really really cheap books i think i paid a quarter for this one probably asked two bucks in the booth i don't know i like buying books they seem to sell pretty well this was a throw-in as well to bundle a deal and when you can get these kind of throw-ins and you can make a buck or two in the booth and they take up no space that's what we do this these were some throw-ins in the in the big deal at the first yard sale probably asked two bucks a piece they'll sell pretty quickly I think this was a dollar, but again, everything was bundled. This has about a $15 resale value. Um, these two watches, this is a guess watch. And it even has a date on it, I believe, 1992. Um, I think that's what it says. It was 50 cents. I haven't even looked this one up yet. Don't know too much about its value, but I'm sure it's worth 50 cents. Um, here's a Minnie Mouse watch. That you saw me wearing in some of the later videos 50 cents if nothing else it'll definitely sell in the booth this was in a free box i said my daughter might like it which she probably will it'll probably want you know end up in the uh end up in the booth at some point who knows it's kind of heavy all right um by the way these right here will sell in the booth now there's maybe a few there's some i think there's multiples of this one and this one goes for about 10 bucks on ebay maybe 11. so i think there's probably nine or ten of these so right there you're probably looking at 45 dollars worth if you just make one listing and just repeat you know over and over and over again and uh, you're you're gonna make about a profit of 20 bucks off the whole lot just by selling this one item with one listing and the rest we'll put in the booth and put four dollars on them five dollars on them we'll end up making 120 to 140 dollars on this deal might take two years but that's what we'll end up making that's the old harry grant he has the bandit car if i remember oh what else do we got country time Another Richard Petty. Here's a bigger Richard Petty. You know, I think easily ask three bucks for these in a booth. Probably get it. All right. Moving on. Another free items. I'll bundle them with some Liberty stuff. I'll let my kids wear them. That was in the free box. Local items are always good. Um, these will go for, believe it or not, these are just promos, stadium giveaways at the Hillcats games. Um, by the way, if you ever... Find the Santa Claus bobbleheads for minor league teams across the country. Those sell really, really well. I think the Hillcat Santa bobblehead can go for up to $100. Um, not quite sure why, but they do. At any rate, this is not a bobblehead, just a promo giveaway. Um, and this one, I think uh, Christmas should have some decent value as well. The old Hillcat Southpaw. And I think each one should should make us about ten dollars profit. We paid a dollar a piece. Um, this one maybe make a little bit more than that. Maybe put it out there for twenty twenty five dollars. Um, but these are probably fifteen dollars, and this will stay under sixteen ounces. This definitely won't. This may this would prop no. It's probably going to go over fifteen ounces. This is one of my favorite buys of the day. I don't know the value of it. I know used ones that are complete sell for around thirty dollars plus shipping um this one is brand new this one well not brand new it's got some damage on it but it's never been opened before so i'm thinking this may be a 50 dollar to 70 dollar item i mean if this doesn't scream 1990s to you then you know nothing does so all right this was in a free box it's one of the funko pop pets really small but it was free i probably a loose one like this used can probably bring ten dollars it's really light, so probably five to six dollars profit on a free item. Uh, Michelangelo, and I got to give credit to Daniel for pointing this one out. Um, and I just thought it was really cool, and I thought maybe I'd put it in my room and, and look it up later, see if it has resale value. And sure enough, it does. It's probably a sixty to one hundred dollar item um, 
to resale, and I think I paid three dollars. I haven't looked back at that video. Uh, I haven't looked at the resale value of these two Chia Pets, but they're brand new in the box. They can't be that much. I'll probably wait and just have some fun with the homeschool hustlers with, with those. Here's the big winner of the day. It is the Mary Kay. I think each one of these will bring anywhere between $7 to $15 profit for each and every piece. And I believe there are 41 pieces in all. These are the cheapest profit and they'll be around $7 profit a piece. Assume, you know, that's taking into account that I paid less than 50 cents. I paid about 30 cents a piece. So I would say that this is going to bring a minimum of 200 and 200 and $265 profit minimum, minimum, um, and maximum of about $360, um, just depending on how we sell it. I may lot a few things up and reduce our, our profit, but I doubt it. I might go piece by piece on this. So let's just conservatively say that that $15 um, investment is going to bring, because we didn't pay what's on these stickers. Um, what's on these stickers is totals up about $32. We paid $15. So um, I think we'll make $300, $325 on this deal. A sidekick I picked up for a couple bucks. These are easy $25 to $35 items. Um, got these balls at the first one just really for our own use here. Um, for a quarter a piece, that's a really good deal on baseballs. They can get pretty expensive. Um, bought a huge record deal. Um, which has all kinds of records. These three records right here probably sell them in a lot and pay for the whole record lot, which includes all of those records, which are mostly kids' records, which will sell in the booth, more kids' records, a whole stack of kids' records. I'm thinking that when the, the records are all said and done, some of these are really neat. This is a painted one. Mexican hat dance. Doesn't have a ton of value on eBay, but definitely could resell them on eBay. I'm going to go through and I'm going to cherry pick 10, 15, 20 of these, sell them on eBay and make 150 or so dollars profit on these. Put the rest in the booth and make another 150 to 200 dollars profit on those. Um, slow, 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 but we'll make it. Saw this little thing. I don't even know what it is, but I picked it up. Going to tighten it up a little bit and we're going to put some records in one of the booth, booths. We'll take the worst records and put them on it and uh, sell them one at a time. 50 cents a piece. This tang was a throw-in. Always looking now for throw-ins um, on these deals. I would never buy this to resell it on eBay. But when I had $5 worth of stuff, I'm trying to find one extra thing, two extra things to sweeten the deal up, um, which I would have never done in the past, and it's going to make us quite a bit of money. So that tang will probably sell for 3 or $4 in the booth. So those booths are paying off in multiple ways. I found this kind of, well, look at that. There's that uh, <laughs> tape gun. Can't ever have enough of those. Uh, this little article in the records I thought was kind of cute. That vinyl still has some spin. The technology might be getting crowded out by CDs and cassettes, but those diehard record players keep buying. He's got the people buying the records here, and this is from 1992. And I think that that is true today. They're still making new ones. I saw records for sale in Walmart today. All right. This is an interesting one. And I picked it up. wasn't on the video, but I picked it up. Blocks have been selling really well in the booth for us. All kinds of different blocks. So when I saw this game, I thought maybe it might be something we need to pick up. And everything is there. And I paid 50 cents for it. And lo and behold, I came home and see that the comps on this are like $30, $40. Um, so we're not going to put this in the booth. We are going to put this on eBay and make make pretty pretty healthy little chunk of change. Uh, a few more things here, and we'll call it a day. Um, this was a record. Well, there's a few more books we got kind of throw-ins. I haven't looked that one up yet. $0.25. Cents. Remember, the cheaper the book, the older it is. So we have to look that one up. Um, I think we paid a buck. Um, a, let's see, a buck a piece. Maybe I think they wanted a buck a piece, and I think I paid two dollars total for for all three. So uh, I just thought they were neat old books. We'll probably double, you know, we'll probably three, three and two or something like that. I gotta look that one up. We'll see if that sells on eBay. If not, we'll put it in the booth for a couple bucks. It's an old one. 
these are actually pretty good money makers. These records right here um, made us are going to make us some pretty good money. Ended up um, paying ten dollars for these. I found two records in here that will uh, sell together and make us a profit of about three four bucks. The rest will sell in the booth. For a buck, two bucks, three bucks, four bucks, and end up making probably, uh, who knows, 80 to a hundred dollars on them. Um, for the ones that sell, eventually there'll be some that just don't sell, and we got to get rid of them. So, just a little uh, bolo, and Daniel was surprised to hear this, but minor league baseballs, and some of them aren't in great shape, so um, they won't go for as much. But minor league baseballs in decent shape will sell for around ten dollars, which means that if from a zero sum you're making, you know, five and a quarter, five fifty. And so some of these are really old ones, Carolina League balls. And some people collect minor league baseballs. They want to have a ball from every single minor league park. And so I think there were sixteen balls in all. So we're not gonna make five dollars on every one because some of them aren't in good shape. But uh you know, let's say we make three even. We're making um, we're making about 50 bucks on these baseballs. So I like selling baseballs. They're really easy, and you know what? They don't break. Now, these were also in that lot, and I thought they were interesting, and I'd show them to you. I'm not sure what we're going to do with them yet, but this one is autographed by Frank Howard. Um, former, I guess, what, Dodger, if my memory serves me right. And I looked up um, autographs online, and this certainly is his autograph. And if you're going to fake an autograph, you're not going to fake it on a ball like this. So this is more than likely the real deal. Probably a $15 to $20 ball. And then Lynchburg legend, Pittsburgh pirate legend, Jim Bibby. Not the greatest autograph in the world, but Jim Bibby. Um, probably put this in the booth because it's more of a local seller than anything else. So anyway, really happy with this. I was happy that Daniel joined us. And then we are going to post the other video a little bit later uh, in the week and show you what we got and i'm pretty excited about the very last yard sale i went to that did not have daniel with us so at any rate thanks for joining us don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out some of our other videos and uh, hit that bell up top so you get reminders when we put out videos we really appreciate it you guys have been awesome and uh thanks for the comments and kind words and advice and keep it coming